At the minute what we have is an air pollution incident. The air pollution is essentially generated by agricultural and industrial activity in continental Europe. That has been blown across by the winds and at the minute we have stagnant air over the UK and that air pollution has sat on us basically. On top of that we've got a contribution from Sahara, so we've got some Saharan dust again as we did last month, but we also have and importantly our own sources of emissions and pollution and that's from the vehicles in Bristol. So we've got quite high levels of pollution in Bristol as a result of a combination of those sources. And how can this air pollution affect the people of Bristol? It can affect in a number of ways. It's mainly impacting on people with lung and heart conditions um, and essentially it can exacerbate those conditions so those people need to be aware and follow DEFRA guidance which is reduce strenuous activity uh, and just be aware, have your asthma inhalers with you at all times, things like that. And would you say that air pollution is quite a high issue in Bristol? It, it should be higher on the agenda than it is. It's creeping up the agenda, but it, it is definitely a key issue in Bristol. We have an air quality management area here as a result of high level of pollution. That is a, as a result of pollution from vehicles in particular, and that stretches across the middle of Bristol, the centre of Bristol, and up the main arteries coming in, so essentially from congestion. And what could we do as a city to perhaps try and reduce this air pollution? There are a number of really quite nice ways for people to do it. You could try and walk to work if you live close enough instead of driving. You can cycle to work on a day like this. It's going to be absolutely perfect for that. Um, get some fresh air as well. Um, you can also use public transport. So you've got all of these different ways that you can do it. But of course it doesn't work for everyone and we need to try and find ways for people who live outside of Bristol who need to commute. Try and reduce that. And as there is a health risk at the moment, what advice would you give to the people in our city? What I would say is, if you've got existing lung or heart conditions, reduce your strenuous activity. Just keep your inhalers with you at all times if you have them. And just be aware, if you are feeling really under the weather, then of course consult your doctors. Just get down, give your GP a call. Um, just be aware of your own body.